Dear students, the scheduled date for JEBRH exam is 4th April 2015. Students intending to join architecture should immediately start preparing for this very important entrance exam. You will hardly get 10 days preparation time after board exams. Students from science and commerce team having maths can seek admission to BRH course. In architecture entrance exam of JEE BRH and NATA, there is not a single question asked from physics, chemistry or general knowledge. However, some state boards and Jamia Milia Islamia conducts their own entrance exam for admission in architecture course. They ask questions for physics, chemistry, maths, English and general knowledge also, along with architecture aptitude questions. Presently, the number of schools offering 5-year BRS degree course in the country are 387 and admission to this course in all schools of architecture is compulsorily through aptitude tests. The syllabus and pattern of the tests are prescribed by Council of Architecture and it, and it is being conducted by some state board exams and Central Board of Secondary Education, New Delhi. JEEVR is conducted by Central Board of Secondary Education and approximately 15 colleges accept JEEVR score. National aptitude test in architecture, that is NATA, is conducted by Council of Architecture and large number of architecture schools and colleges accept only NATA score. Some colleges and institutions accept scores of any one of the above exams, that is NATA or JEEBR. A large number of students are under the impression that since they have given the architecture entrance exam, JEE, conducted by CBSC, they would get admission on the basis of this exam. As a matter of fact, very few colleges accept the score of JEBRs. Most of the self-financing and other architecture colleges and schools in India accept only NATA score. Unless and until you clear NATA exam and the score very good in that exam, you cannot get admission in various architecture colleges. JEEBRs is an all India level entrance exam for both engineering and architecture streams. It comprises of separate question papers and structure for both the streams. The JEBRH pattern for BRH and B planning comprises of three important parts. Part 1 consists of questions from mathematics, 30 questions of 4 marks each, total marks 120. And part 2 consists of aptitude type questions, 50 questions, 4 marks each, total 200 marks. And part 3 consists of drawing and sketching of 70 marks. Total marks are 390. For every incorrect answer, one mark is deducted. In JEBRC exam, there is not a single question asked from physics, chemistry or general knowledge. It includes question in testing the student's attitude regarding people, places and environment. It is a 3 hours offline examination. The NATA shall consist of two papers, total 3 hour duration, paper 1 online test, Duration of test 1 hour, 100 marks. Paper 2, drawing and sketching, 100 marks. Duration of test 2 hours. Broadly, NATA exam as well as JEBRH exam are supposed to test aesthetic sensitivity to evaluate candidates perception, imagination and observation, creativity and communication and architecture awareness. The test is of objective type and comprises of topics related to visualizing three-dimensional objects from two-dimensional drawings visualizing different sides of three-dimensional objects and analytical reasoning, mental ability, imaginative expression, architectural awareness. The drawing aptitude of the candidate is just on the following aspects. Ability to sketch a given object proportionately and rendering the same in visually appealing manner. Visualizing and drawing the effects of light on the object and shadows cast on the surroundings. Sense of perspective drawing, creating interesting two-dimensional compositions using given shapes or, or forms, creating visual harmony using colors in given composition, understanding of scale and sense of proportion, drawing from memory through pencil sketch on theme from day-to-day -day experiences. GK books are not suitable for architecture entrance exams. Be more aware of the construction work happening around you. Observe the materials, observe the construction methods, observe the scaffolding and shuttering, Observe the beams and columns, observe the doors and windows, staircase, verandas, and increase your observation power. 
try to find out about famous architects and their works and how they have contributed to the field of architecture. You do not have to remember each and every building of the world. Just see photos of famous buildings regarding building materials. Try to see and identify every building material used in your house like glaze tiles, mosaic tiles, wood, bricks, steel, aluminium, concrete, marble, quota stone, granite, galvanized pipes, linoleum flooring, vinyl flooring, wooden flooring, terrazzo, vitrified flooring, etc. If you draw well, then half the battle is won. Good sketching is very essential. The questions are framed on topics like effects of light and shadow, sense of perspective drawing, understanding scale and proportions, memory drawing, comprising three-dimensional elements, etc. Therefore, developing these skills are very important. Do practice in A3 size sketchbooks. Because if you can make large sketches in given time, then you would be able to make sketches in A4 size as that is normally the standard size of answer sheets in the examination. Speed is very important. Understand that your drawing and creative skills are useless if you are not able to present your thoughts in the exam in the limited amount of time. You stand to lose marks for the question you fail to answer or which are left incomplete. It does not matter how good you are at your work if you do not complete the task. Go through all previous papers of architecture entrance exams. Solve as many past papers within the given time limit. Find out a comfortable sequence for answering the paper. Most of the architecture entrance exam books available in the market are not up to mark. Try to get course material prepared by coaching centers which you can get free of course from the students who gave these exams last year. These course materials are prepared by qualified architects and experts of this field. You can appear for this entrance exam to BR's Bachelor of Architecture course provided you have opted for mathematics as a subject at 12th level. It is not at all necessary to be a science student to appear for this exam. Even commerce and arts students may appear for architecture entrance exam if they have opted for maths as a subject at 12th level. Registration for JEBRH exam is no more available now since the exam is scheduled for 4th April 2015. However, you can register for NATA exam. The detail of the same is available on the website www.nata.in. If you have any doubts, you can ring me up on my telephone number 92131027464. I repeat, phone number is 92131027464. Or you can visit my website that is www.architectureentrance.in. Thank you.